How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, back with another week of fashion report coverage. It's week 338. As always, shout out to Kyoko Star for all the fantastic work they do with theory crafting to make the fashion report so easy every week. All right, so starting off with the easy 80.60,000 MGP version, don't forget to use a Gold Saucer VIP card if you have any for the extra 15% bonus MGP. Head on over to Ulda and head over to the Goldsmiths Guild, bang a right, head up the stairs, and talk to the jeweler. Purchase battle accessories and buy the Malachite Choker for 1800 gil. That's actually all we need for gear, so let's go get some dye, all of which I would recommend getting at the market board if they're a reasonable price. As usual, maybe wait until later in the weekend for the prices to fall if you're short on cash. We need one honey yellow and one snow white. Lucky you if you held on to any extras from last week. Once you've got those all bought, head to your local inn or wherever you use your glamour dresser. You need to have any headpiece that's dyed honey yellow, any feet piece that's dyed snow white, and your malachite choker without any dye on it. Teleport over to the golden saucer and teleport over to Wonder Square East. Hop down over the railing and present yourself for judging at the masked rose. He'll do his usual speech, and there you go. Easy 60,000 MGP. All right, so now for the easy 100-point fashion leader version. Again, don't forget to use a Gold Saucer VIP card if you have any for the extra 15% bonus MGP. You're going to need the Malachite Choker, the Snow White Dyed Feet Piece, and the Honey Yellow Dyed Head Piece from the Easy 80 Point version, so keep those on. Next, you're going to need to get yourself a set of Dreadworm Bracers of whatever your class uses. You can get this from the market board, but at least on Zalera, they're around 100,000 gil. You can get them super easily in the final coil of Bahamut Turn 3, so get them however you'd like. Once you've got those, head over to the market board and pick up a pair of replica Sky Rat breeches of whatever your class uses. They're around 4,000 gil here, so that's not too bad. That's all we need for gear, so now it's time to buy some dye. Aside from the one honey yellow and one snow white that we got earlier, we need one Authard blue and two soot black. These are locked behind crafting and reputation, so I would recommend just getting them from the market board to save time and energy. Once you've got those all bought, head to your local inn or wherever you use your glamour dresser. You need to have any weapon that's dyed Authard blue, any headpiece that's dyed honey yellow, any body piece that's dyed soot black, your dreadworm bracers without any dye on them, your replica sky rat breeches dyed soot black, any feet piece that's dyed snow white, and your malachite choker without any dye on it. Once you've got yourself all glammed up, head on over to the golden saucer, teleport over to Wonder Square East, hop down the railing, and present yourself for judging at the masked rose. He'll do his usual speech, and there you go. Easy 60,000 MGP, as well as the fashion leader title. All right, that'll do it for me, everybody. If you could leave a like, if you found this video helpful, that would really help me out. Head over to my Twitter and comment on this video with your fashion report glam for this week. And subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy XIV and Dawn Trail content.